In our last newsletter, we talked about reveal on balls. When I read it again, I realized it was more about decorative aspects, but there's so much more we can do with this option. In this video, we are going to explore how to turn it into something more useful, a handrail on wall with lighting fixture. Before we get into the details, I want to let you know that this will be the last Sunday when we have new content. I'm working on something that requires more of my focus, so at least for the next few months, we will only have new videos on Wednesdays as usual. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Go to file and create a new family on profile. First of all, we are going to set the unit on metric system. Also change the rounding to two decimal places and OK. Now, as always, we're going to create some reference lines in here. I want to have my form in this part, so I'm going to create one in here and another one in this part. Next, we're going to create dimensions from this part to here and also from this part to here. I want this side to be on like 10 centimeter and this part on 15 centimeter maybe. Okay, you can turn these two dimensions into permits if you want to change the size of your handrail, but I don't need to do that. So I'm going to just lock these two parts in here. Then I'm going to go to create and with this line option and this rectangle, I'm going to create a shape exactly on all of these lines. Don't forget to lock all of these lines with these reference lines and OK. So this is going to be our reveal. This is going to be the place when we want to be empty on our wall. For this handrail, we're going to have at least three profiles and we need to save each one of them separately. So let's go to file and save this family. Give it a name. I'm going to go with profile A and OK. So this was the reveal profile and now we are going to work on the handrail profile. For that, I'm going to go to create with this line and this rectangle. I think we can give it five to eight millimeter offset. Let's go with, for example, six millimeter. And then I'm going to create a rectangle inside this one in here. Now with this split element, I'm going to create two cuts in this part and separate these lines like this go to create again with the line and this time with pick line i'm going to create five centimeter offset first from this part to here this is exactly where we hold and this part is going to be empty i'm going to trim these parts in a few seconds also i want to create two centimeter offset in this part and another two centimeter in here Okay, so this is where I want to have the round handrail. Now with this trim, I'm going to cut this part like this. I can delete this line. And in here, before we trim anything, I want to go to create, use this line. And with this start and radius arc, I'm going to create a shape exactly from here to this part and create something like this. Now we can easily trim and delete the rest of the lines. I'm going to trim these parts together and we can delete this part also here and this part. Let's also trim these two lines and then we can fillet these corners. Let's go to create again with this line and with this fillet. I'm going to create a fillet in here another one in this part for here i can have like maybe eight millimeter something like this and i'm going to repeat it for these two parts too go to line with this fillet create a corner in this part another one in here and for this side i can create another one but i'm going to make it a bit smaller maybe Yes, three millimeter. Okay, for these parts, you can select them and change this number in here. And the last one in this part, eight millimeter. Perfect. Now, this is the shape of my handrail. I created like this. You can create any shape you want with any form you like. Now, this is the handrail I wanted. But if I want to add the lighting fixture too, 
I need to create some parts in here, in this part or in here. It doesn't matter where, you just need to have a place for adding a lighting. So I really like to create it in this part and because this way you can see it. Okay, it looks much better. And for that, I can go to create to line with this big line, create two centimeter offset from this line in here and another two centimeter in this part. Before doing anything else, I want to also divide this section into two parts. So I'm going to create a line in here and now I can first split this part into two sections and then I can trim these parts like this this line bit here and this part in here okay so this is the handrail and this is the part that we can set a lighting it might be a little too much two centimeter but you can make it smaller or bigger depending on your lighting so now we can load this into our project. So the next profile, the last profile is going to be the lighting itself. So we're going to create lighting as a profile and then we can assign a material to it. So I'm going to just simply trim these parts together like this. I am going to keep this lighting exactly in its place. So we can delete all of these parts like this and then just have it where it is right now let's go to file and save this as profile c and then we can load all of them into our project in the project i have loaded all of my families and also i created this simple one so how we can assign all of the things that we just created into our wall as a handrail first we are going to select the ball and then we can go to edit type in here i'm going to go to a structure and then click on this preview turn this view into the section like this and if you want you can make it a bit smaller so let's go for example to 2.5 okay now we can zoom in and then first thing we need to do is to make the part that we want to add the handrail empty so for that we are going to use the reveal first click on this reveal and in this part i'm going to add a new row in here click on the first part the profile section and from here you can select the profile a that we just created as a reveal, the simple one so i'm going to place it from base but the distance is going to be on any number that you want but you need to know that all of the distances all of the settings that we're going to create in here should be the same for all of three profiles that we're going to add to this wall so the distance i want to put it on 90 centimeter let's click on apply to see where it is exactly okay it's in this part but it should be inside the wall so with this offset i'm going to move it inside you remember that the width of the handrail was on 10 centimeter so i'm going to set this part on 10 centimeter too if we apply it will be exactly inside the wall so i'm going to click on ok and now you can see that it is empty in here if i click on ok you can also see it in this part this is empty in here for the next part, I'm going to select the wall and go to edit type. In here, let's go to structure and this time we're going to use this sweep. So first we need to add a row in this part. Then from this profile section, I'm going to select profile B and then from here we can assign a material to our handrail. So let's click on this part and then since I don't want to create anything special, I'm going to just create a new material let's just call it handrail and then for its material you can click on this part asset browser and between all of the materials that we have in here you can select the one that you like for example you can go with metal you can go with wood plastic or anything you want i'm going to go with this wood and let's just select one of these i don't want to have a texture for now so i'm going to select this one but i really want to change its color so let's go to graphic section and then from here i'm going to turn it into something like this and okay 
click on ok and this is the material of our hand rail then from this part from this distance we are going to assign the same uh, size that we assigned for the reveal so it was on 90 centimeter i'm going to enter the 90 centimeter again and let's before changing anything else click on apply to see where it is okay it is exactly where we need it to be so we don't need to change the offset or create any other changes i'm going to click on okay and okay let's see how it looks in here perfect it is exactly where it needed to be all right now it's time for adding the lighting in this part i'm going to select the wall go to edit type a structure and then we are going to add it with this sweep let's add another row in this part profile c and also we are going to change the distance to 90 centimeter for its material i'm going to click on this part create a new material let's just change its name to lighting this is obviously the material for that lighting you can add a real lighting to it you can create its family and then add it to here i'm going to just create a simple material for that so i'm going to click on this asset browser and from this part we can find some lightings like this i'm going to go with this one and okay so in here you can change its color you can change its brightness reflection and anything you want i'm not going to change anything so let's click on okay and now we can i think click on apply to see exactly where it is i don't think we need to change anything else so i'm going to click on this apply you can see it in here and okay it's exactly in this part okay and okay let me just go to manage and to material section to the lighting because i want to change its color in the graphic section i'm going to click on this and it is white now so i'm going to click on ok and this is much better so this was the handrail that we just created you can see that we can control every and each part of it if you want it to be exactly in the center if you don't want to see these parts you can just simply select it and move it to here for example i can go to one of the elevations if i want to create it very clean to north elevation okay and in this part let me just put it on fine consistent color okay i want all of them to be exactly in here so i can move them to this part this is the first one this is the second one and this is probably the reveal so now if i go to 3d view i can see it exactly in this part i can see those like edges like this in here and this is really good so this is just one way that you can cover the end or start of the handrail so it looks much better rather than looking like this with all of these details in here and also there is another way that you can try let's go to north view and move all of these parts to here all three of them to this part next we can select the wall go to edit type a structure and this time we can assign the reveal profile as a strip you might see so many errors in here but trust me you can do that i'm going to add another row in here and put it on profile a for its material i'm going to just simply copy this material to here for its distance let's go with 90 centimeter and before changing the offset i want to apply and see exactly where it is okay as i said too many errors it's exactly where we needed it so i'm going to click on ok so based on what we add it should be exactly on the ha uh, handrail right exactly in here but now we can move this part too we can move it to here and align it with this part also this part with here as much as you want you can make it smaller or bigger let's go to 3d view 
and this time you have some cards before your handrail starts both of these two ways helps your handrail to look clean and neat and you can use either one of them the one that you like for presenting your handrail the best possible ways so this was the process of creating this unique handrail if you want to learn another cool trick about creating railings and using their features i suggest watching this video